Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the Super Nexus ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2 GDI9100. That's an international variant, of course. However, don't, don't worry, there are other available um, versions of the ROM, the Super Nexus ROM, available for other Galaxy S2 variants. So, check that out also. The Super Nexus ROM has been around for quite some time and I personally used it before and I like it and I love it. Before diving into the installation guide, please do make sure you've got a rooted Samsung Galaxy S2 on any kernel except the Phil Z kernel. For some reason, the Phil Z kernel and the Super Nexus ROM don't seem to be working together quite well. So if I were you, you've got a flash, a SIA kernel or any other type of kernel except the Phil Z. The Super Nexus ROM is a little bit different compared to other ROMs. It doesn't include any bloatware, additional software, or tweaks. It just is the pure jelly bean experience. The same experience you get on the Nexus 4, the Nexus uh, 7, and the Nexus 10. This is also known as the vanilla Android experience. The Super Nexus ROM is roughly about 130 megabytes plus an additional 90 megabytes for the Google, Google apps or the G apps. So it's definitely about 200 plus megabytes. So it's not so big that really already signifies that there isn't any bloatware or additional apps installed. So let's install the Super Nexus on the Samsung Galaxy S2. Hi again. So at this point, you should have downloaded the zip file, which is the Super Nexus ROM build 4 in this case, which is Android Jelly Bean 4.2.2 and the G apps. Don't worry, all the links will be in the video description below and on the guide on wiredmash.com. So don't worry, everything's there. The guide is easy to understand, it's simple. And if you've got any issues or problems, feel free to post them in the comments section below. So first things first, once you've uh, transferred the zip, two zip files, you've got to shut down your phone. So I'll power it off. So once you're done transferring the two zip files, you've got to turn off your phone so that we can head over to recovery mode and install the Super Nexus via CWM. And I just had to flash the SIA kernel as I was previously on the Omega ROM, which was actually uh, using the Phil Z kernel. So in order to get into recovery mode, press volume up, power button, and home button all at once for 10 seconds. And you should be presented uh, with the boot screen and it should flash twice which indicates you're about to enter recovery mode so as you can see we are in the you're, you're using the SIA kernel and the first thing we have to do is to do a wipe data factory reset as we're coming from a different ROM and we have to make sure it's, it's a clean state and uh, everything should be running uh, flawlessly once you do a wipe data factory reset and wipe cache partition this is recommended by the Super Nexus uh, instructions found on the thread on XDA developers. So once that's done, install zip from SD card. It's up here. Choose zip from SD card and choose Super Nexus 2.0 i9100 build 4. And yes, install. Give it a couple of minutes. Uh, it's kind of small so it wouldn't take so long. It's only 130 megabytes. So I'll be back once it's fully installed. So once the ROM has been installed, we have to, don't forget to install the G apps. This is the Google apps, this includes the Play Store and all the official Google apps uh, so that your phone will be able to work uh, without any hitch. So choose zip from SD card again, but this time we're gonna choose G apps, JB, JB, sorry. And we're gonna install it, yes. This is a 90 megabyte file and it should install pretty fast as you can see the progress bar is moving quite fast and it should be installed in less than 30 seconds so both the ROM, the Super Nexus ROM and the G apps are both installed what I like to do just to be sure is to go back to the main menu and do another wipe data factory reset so just in case uh, there are any issues that pop up during installation or Whatever, just I, I usually do that most of the time, so just to be sure, to, you know, to be safe. So you do a wipe data partition and a wipe cache. So one, once that's all done, click, I mean, select reboot system now, and you should be presented with the Super Nexus uh, um, boot up sequence, which is actually the Nexus 
logo itself, you know, the X. We're about to see it anyway right now. So yeah, there you go guys. That's the Super Nexus or the Nexus logo. It is the same logo that appears when booting up the Nexus 4 and the Nexus 7 and the Nexus 10. And you get a pure vanilla Android experience, the pure stock jelly bean experience that a lot of folks uh, love and go crazy about because of the smoothness and the beautiful user experience you get with it. Again, this is the initial boot, so this would, might take some time to load up. So give it a few minutes and I'll be back to give you my my first impressions or the initial of the initial setup of the Super Nexus for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So we finally booted up and we're presented with the welcome screen of the Super Nexus. Again, this is the pure vanilla Android experience. So I'm gonna set it up really quickly. And it's snappy, it's fast, it's fluid. And as you can see, there's uh, there isn't that Dropbox edition as you saw in the previous from like Slim Bean and Neat Room, I believe. Uh, this, there's there's nothing installed on it except uh, the Google Apps and um, and uh, that's it. Just the Google app, and you can see it's using the live wallpaper of the Nexus series. As you can see, it's pure Nexus and. Uh, Let's check out the about phone. It's using Android version 4.2.2. It's using the Sigeden mod. I believe it's 10.1, one of the latest builds, April 3, as you can see. Super Nexus build 4. This is one of the latest versions of the Super Nexus uh, ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2. And as you can see, it's extremely fluid. Look at that. Look how fast and fluid it is. And this is just Samsung Galaxy S2. And that's just beautiful. And I'm definitely a fan of the Super Nexus uh, series of uh, builds or the Super Nexus ROM. We'll have, a full, we'll have a full review of the Super Nexus ROM in a few days time. So stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like this video, to subscribe to Wired Mash, and thanks for watching.